Hi there, welcome back. This is part two of the how to use Smart SVN with a Unity project. Uh, and in the first video we talked about, you know, if you've never used Smart SVN to connect to a SVN repository and download that to your a working copy to your working machine, uh, we went over how to do that. And you know, this is more for my students or anybody else that uh, is working on an existing repository. So if you need a refresher, just go to the first video. I'll put a, I'll put a, a link to the first video in, in down below the video description of this one, just in case none of you have, have seen it yet. So but anyway, here we go. This is part two of how to use Smart SVN with the Unity uh, project. And after going through the first video, you should have already had a folder and in the first video we made this test folder. Let me move this out of the way. We made this test folder and in this test folder we have assets file and it should have been a project settings. Um, the temp in the library came afterward and I'll explain that in a minute but you should have had an assets uh, folder and a project settings folder. So let's go ahead and close this out. And what we'll do is you've already downloaded that, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Unity. This particular project used Unity 5.6.2, so I'm going to open up 5.6.2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that you can open this up, you can make changes, and I'm going to show you how to submit those changes to the SVN repository. All right, so we're going to open. I've already opened it once, but I'm going to show you again. You can just hit open here, and then we'll point the desktop. I think I call this test, and then we're going to open test from here. So the cool thing about using SVN is that uh, there's, there's all kinds of different uh, ways to do version control um, with Unity or really any project. It doesn't have to be a Unity project. Uh, we use SVN mainly because it's free. I use for, um, Visual SVN which I think I may do a video on how to set one of those up later. Um, but I have a server that I set with Visual uh, SVN Studio. Uh, that's a free Microsoft um, uh, server. And you, you can I think you can buy an Enterprise Edition, but for small teams like we have, this is perfect. And you can link that up and it will, it will you know, allow you to administrate users and uh, look at all the revisions in a certain project. So, all right, so I had made this sample project. There's nothing much to it. There's a main camera, there's a directional camera. I think I've got a main scene. I'll open up the main scene. And then I put in an, a, a sphere here. But let's say you download this, um, you know, you have a version of a project, you open it up. And then, you know, you want to make changes. You want to submit those changes. So let's do a few things right now. First of all, what we might want to change is we might want to add, I'll do three changes. I'll add a game object. I will edit an existing script and then I will add a new script. So the first thing let's do, let's go ahead and let's add another, let's add another game object to, um, actually I want the sphere to be outside. So one change is I did, uh, I took the sphere and I moved it outside of the main camera. And then I'm going to, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a 3D object. And this time let's just add a, let's add a cube. Keep it simple. Okay. And we can always move this cube so that it is in front of my camera, not hidden. And there you can see that. And so now we've added a new game object. So, so that's cool. We added something, we added a new 3D object. Now let's edit this C sharp script. I have a C sharp script that I've called yes. Don't ask me why, I just did. <laughs> so we're going to uh, double click on that and open up our editor. And then we'll just add, I don't know, we'll add some code, maybe a line or two. As soon as it opens up, sometimes it takes a minute on my computer. Okay, sorry about that guys. So I'll pull this over so you can see. And when I made this script, I, I didn't really make it for anything just to show that you could you know, put a script up there. 
but I'll make some changes. Maybe I'll add, okay, let's add, let's add some variables. Let's add a public, uh, public int um, i, and then in this i, we're going to set it equal to, we're going to declare it and set it equal to zero. Oh, I forgot about that. So there we go. So it was a very subtle change, but you could imagine that if you could write hundreds, if not thousands, of lines of code, um, and then I'll show you what happened. So we made a slight change. I declared variable i. I set i equal to zero, and it doesn't do anything else other than that. So we will save all. Go back to Unity. Watch this guy move around. Um, looks like everything. Okay, we're gonna clear that. And okay, so it compiled. It looked like it was. It's gonna run fine. And then next thing we're gonna do is we're going to. I'm gonna. I'm in my assets folder. I'm going to right click and I'm gonna create a C sharp script. And we can name this script uh, new. Well, actually, since the first one thing, yes. Let's do this one. Yes underscore two. And we'll hit enter. Okay. And then we have just your standard, you can see here, your standard thing. Uh, gives you your start and your update. And so yeah, so there we go. We hit. So just to recap right quick before we go into Smart SVN, we open up the project. We we already had a sphere, so then we made a cube, right, as we can see right here. And then we opened up the yes script and we changed, uh, we, we declared uh, an integer and we set the integer equal to zero. We saved it and then we created a new script called yes underscore two. So we made three changes. Now, what we'll do is we'll save. So what I like to do is I like to um, save scenes. And I like to save project. Now this is a really important note. Next, next step we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Smart SVN and we're gonna commit our changes. But one thing you have to do is you have to close out of Unity. If you don't, it retains these temp files that can become really big and we don't need to send uh, the temp files to the server. Uh, these just get built whenever you open up Unity. So just remember to save scenes and then you're gonna save project, which we already did. And then I'm gonna close out of Unity. So I'm gonna quit. Okay. Uh, you can leave your editor open if you want. I'll go ahead and close out of it, but you could leave it open. Main thing is you quit Unity. Okay, so now let's open up Smart SVN. And a couple of things we want to do. Uh, if you have this library folder shows up, you want to ignore it. Uh, you don't need a lot, you don't need to submit changes to the library folder. It gets rebuilt um, with your working copy of Unity. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna Again, I clicked on library, I right clicked, and I'm gonna hit ignore. Do you want to ignore the select directory? Yes, I want to ignore it. Look how much was gone. I don't know if you saw it before, but now we hardly have anything that's new that we need to commit. OBJ files, you, you could leave those if you want. Um, it really uh, exists locally, so you don't really have to worry about that. Temp file. It's not under version control. We don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, ignore the temp. That shouldn't have been in there anyway. And the OBJ file you can leave if you want. Um, so the next thing we do is now that we have that cleaned up, we're going to look at everything here that says unversioned. And we want to make sure it's stuff that we've added. Usually when you have an unversioned thing, it's something that's new to the project that you have added. So for instance, we added this Test solution, test is actually that's part of the, yeah. And then we added this um, C sharp. You, you don't really need that, but we'll leave it in there for now. But you really, the yes, the yes too is something that was new, and the yes, uh, CS, we added, um, and then we modified these things in Unity. We modified the, the yes. Uh, um, .cs file. Remember we added the int and we put set it to equal to zero. And then we also modified the um, 
we modified the scene in Unity. That, that is where we added the, uh, the cube and we moved it. So that contains that change. So all these look pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to hit update. So we want to update any changes. And then, and then this also sets the head of your uh, version control uh, back to the head. Sorry, that's probably not the best way to describe it, but, but uh, initially that's what it does. You don't want to have it out of date or you'll get an error and it'll let you know and then you can go change it. So we update. We're going to highlight all the inversion things. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to shift. I'm going to click again. And I'm going to hit this add button right at the top. And if you look down here, it showed you as they were being added. Now that we got those added, we're going to make sure and click the root of our directory. And then we're going to commit. Now, yes, fully recursive. We can keep this as default. Continue. It's just giving you a rundown of the things that you're changing. You're adding these new items, and then you're going to be modifying. If you don't want to do any of these, you can always uncheck it, but usually you can check. And you always want to write a, a message. Um, even, you might know what you're doing, but somebody else is looking at the repository and getting uh, an update. They may not knew, know what the commit was. Or if we were going to revert back, the cool thing about reversion control is that we can revert back. So say a week down the road, you're like, oh man, I really liked what I did three weeks ago. The new stuff's corrupted. I need to get back. So you can go back and you can look at your commit messages and the date and figure out which one that you needed. So this commit message that I'm going to say, I'm just going to call it uh, test tutorial. added and you, I like to do it where you, you, you kind of do a rundown of what you've done. So we can put that on a new line. We can say added cube edited the yes.cs file and then added yes underscore two dot cs file. Alright and then once you've gotten what you wanted there for the commit message and you double check this you will hit commit if you look down here it shows you that everything was committed and now we are on version 2 or revision 2 so as you can see we were on reversion we were on version 1 now we're on revision 2 and every time you do an, an update so if you look up here you should be on test 2 we can always do another update just to make sure and yes we are at revision 2 so that's how you uh, that's how you make changes to your project and you submit. Um, and now, when say another person in your team or you go to a different computer, you can pull from the repository and have the latest working copy. Um, so yeah, that's it. Again, a recap: what we did is we we um, in in the first video we went through and we set up a, a smart SVN to work uh, with a SVN server. We downloaded a working copy of the Unity project. And in this, this tutorial, we opened up the Unity project and we made a few changes and then we committed our changes to the repository. And look out for some new videos. I may be making more for when there's errors in Smart SVN um, or even setting up Visual SVN server. Uh, oh, one other thing. Always make sure that you do update, add, and commit. That is key. Uh, again, if you have any questions, make comments on the video or shoot me an email. And thanks again for watching. Have a good day.